Here at Brown & Homes in Tamworth, they make a fixture that helps to produce jet engine turbine blades halfway around the world in Singapore. Before we talk about that turbine fixture, um, Brown & Homes have a, a fantastic reputation for designing bespoke fixturing around the world. How do you think Brown Homes have achieved that reputation over the number of years you've been working? I think a lot of that is to do with making sure customer satisfaction, that's, that's key to backing up our fixturing solutions, is making sure the customer's happy with those solutions. Brown & Homes have got over 75 years of experience designing and making bespoke work holding solutions. I've been here with the company for 18 years managing the design team. The design team's got a lot of experience experience sort of thing so there's a lot of um, more mature designers so actually in years it's, it's quite a lot of experience yeah yeah absolutely and so you've got a beautiful fixture to show us that's been working for a long time now what is it yeah this is part of a suite of fixtures that uh, manufacture aircraft turbine blade and um, this is half of the op 20 fixture the other half of it is for machining the tip which sits somewhere up here when it's in the machine um, and, and this is the root holding part of that fixture. Yeah, absolutely. And there's a lot to do, a lot of uh, complexities around manufacturing turbine blades. I mean, you're trying to get a good surface finish, um, but not only a good quality surface finish, it's all about getting precision on the blade as well. Um, what, what kind of, how did you work with this company to, to develop this process? Yeah, I mean, they had a pretty good idea of what they wanted to machine at the different operations and, and our challenge was to make sure the component was held in a repeatable and an accurate manner um, so that they could carry out complex, which you could say the complex machining, the, the geometry involved in these types of components is, is very complex. The key to the fixture was accuracy and repeatability. This, this particular operation is to machine all of the aerofoil. So it machines both sides round the leading and trailing edges of the aerofoil and, and that's all done. The platform machining, that's done as well on this fixture. And then as time developed, because this fixture has been in service for a long time, it also involves machining the tip of the blade off as well in the same process. Yeah, absolutely, so you have to think about the access of, uh, access of, of all these different faces, being able to make a nice tool bath around them without any interruptions, I guess. Yeah, that, that is a key thing, working with the with the machine tool, with the cutting tool people, because you can see some nice rads that flow all around this part, and obviously access is, is key to being able to produce this part in, in that single operation, yeah. Yeah, and you can see they've achieved some beautiful geometry. I, 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 honestly, I, I pity the person who had to hacksaw this thing in half with a bandsaw. Um, but let's talk about the fixture a little bit more now. Um, so you're holding it on this kind of dovetail, and there's a lot of precision involved in actually how you clamp this fixture. Yeah, I mean, that, that is key to the accuracy. That, that feature that you've already mentioned, that, that dovetail at the bottom of the root, obviously the accuracy of that, when you've got the tip of the blade here, if that's not right within microns at this end, then we're going to be millimetres out at the top of the blade, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And then you can't uh, machine the blade, the blade tip accurately. It needs to be just as accurate, I guess, as the, as the root. Yeah, when, when we're holding the tip in the other half of the fixture, obviously that's got to be totally in line with this, otherwise when we're machining the aerofoil you're going to get variation in the thickness of the finished machine part, so yes, they've got to be perfectly right between between the two halves of the fixture, yeah. Absolutely, and, and unfortunately this is not a new project, you've actually, this has been going for a very long time, hasn't it? Tell me more about how long this has been in service and what's happened over those over those years. Yeah, like I so said, I think this, this particular operation has been in place for approximately 10 years and there's I think 19 of these fixtures so there's in the uh, in the end users facility these are running on a lot of machines and as times developed this was a, a three op process so it involved three fixtures that we designed and manufactured and we've since as the process has developed as the um, condition of supply the components developed we've managed to get rid of one of those fixtures and 19 fixtures must mean the first one was successful and the first one had to go over a long way where this facility is not it's not in the uk is it no i mean there was there was various cutting trials done with this in the uk then out in italy and then 
down to the end use in Singapore sort of thing. So yes, it's, it's a well-traveled process and we, we support that process, whether it be at a partner in Birmingham or the machine tool manufacturer in Italy or the end use customer, which is out in Singapore where this particular facility is of that company, yeah. And is that something that's important for Brown & Holmes to provide is longer term uh, fixturing support? Because you don't just want to sell one fixture, you want to make sure that these, these parts can be made 10 years ago and today and hopefully maybe for another five, 10 years. Yeah, I mean, this is a, a great example of the way that we can support fixturing over a long period of time. A lot of our bespoke work holding it is one off and you see the fixture and if it works successfully, you never see the fixture again. But because of production demands on this component, there's been a, a long process over 10 years of supporting the customer and developing things with the customer. And this is one of the many fixtures you make here at Brown Homes. It's amazing they go uh, to loads of different places around the world and also the, the different kind of sectors and, and components that you make. Yeah, I mean, we try to be as diverse as we can, covering as many industries as we can. So this is an aerospace fixture that's going out to Singapore. And we have got medical customers in Ireland, which is still overseas, and the UK customer base. They all get the same level of support, whether they're UK, Ireland, or halfway around the world.